Okay guys, once again. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go. We're on our way to Bay City once again. Yesterday they had our motorhome fixed by uh I don't know. Then we went to Papa and back and it was all good and it was shifting and everything was good. So once again we're on our way to Bay City. Um, that gas is $1.899 here at the corner. Uh, we saw it for $1.749 yesterday. So it's coming down. Which is good because we need some. Yeah. Right? We're on empty, right? Uh, yeah. So we need gas. Um... So here we go again. Bye-bye, Madawan. Next time we see Madawan, we'll just be, yep, we'll just be passing through, stop in and say hi, and that'll be it. Hi, guys. We are at Yankee Springs Recreation Area to dump, which is just west of Hastings, where we, um, kind of broke down yesterday. It was drivable, but we can get out of second gear. So anyway, today we took the expressway all the way, and um, when we got off, we were stuck in second gear again. Hi guys, guess where we are? Can you see? That's where we are. We're home. We had more trouble with the motorhome today. Same thing that was going on. We can get in the car and go to Bay City from here. It's only an hour and a half, actually Midland, to Casey's. But um, we're exhausted. We're just frankly exhausted. So Pete and I looked at each other and said, you know what? we got to go home. My personal thought is it must be the computer because the solenoids have... Yes, may I help you? Is there something I can do for you? Sleepy? No, no kisses. He's a cat. Because the solenoids have been changed, so, or has been changed. I don't know if there's one or more. I don't know. So, and that's what was causing the problem yesterday, but today is the same problem. Plus, as we were driving, all of a sudden it would start revving all by itself, and then we lost cruise control, and then for a while we shuddered and vibrated and we just kept pushing through just wanted to get home so pete said once he knows his family is home and safe me the birds dogs and whatever watch out watch out <laughs> then he may drive it back down there at some point ed also brought up the possibility of him coming up here at some point and so It'll get taken care of one way or another. It will. But um, we're exhausted. We're just tired. <laughs> so uh, we're going to stay in the motorhome tonight. It's plugged in, in the house, at the house. And um, so we're just going to stay in here tonight and not try and, not try and uh, you know, carry everything in tonight. It's quarter to seven already. So we'll have the day tomorrow to do it, although we're supposed to have a ton of snow, but so what, we can do it. Or if that doesn't work, we wait till Sunday. You know, we're not pressured now that we're home. Back in home lake. So I'm just going to go. I just wanted to let you know what's going on. I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to make us some steaks, some baked potatoes, and some roasted onions. Our favorite dinner. And that's what we're having tonight because, hey, we earned it. <laughs> So I will see you guys tomorrow, and I hope everybody has a sensational Saturday and a wonderful weekend. And um, I don't know what our weekend holds, but I know who holds it, and he's been with us every step of the way. I can't question why he does what he Take does. Care. God bless, and good night.